Hi there, everybody. Sarah brought a question up, and I think it's a great one for everybody to share. And Sarah's in an environment where there are very clear expectations on the results that are needed, but it is a collaborative team environment. So it's not individually employee specific. And she has an employee that, for lack of a better term, just seems to be lazy. And Sarah, what you have is great expectations, but you have that murky sort of environment um, of roles, shall we say. And so how you break through that is you get hyper specific with what you see. This person is already taking advantage of the gray area of a team environment. And we've all had that, that those team projects where one person, two people aren't doing anything and everybody else is doing everything else. So we, we all can relate to that, but get specific on what you see. What behavior behaviors are they demonstrating that lead you to believe that they aren't pulling their weight, shall we say. So you shine a light on that gray area as much as possible. That makes it so that they can't hide their behavior from that. So address those specifics. That goes for all feedback. The other thing that you want to do, Sarah, is shine a light on the good things that they are doing. I would assure you that in almost, in almost all of those cases where we had those team projects and somebody was lazy, they always stepped up at some certain point. They weren't lazy 100% of the time. There was always the beginning or it was at the end or at some key point they stepped up. And what you wanna do is shine a light on that as well. That's a motivation technique is you recognize what you want to see more of. So catch somebody doing something right and recognize them they'll be more likely with that positive feedback to do it again. So you're shining a light on the negative things that you see and you're shining a light on the positive things that you see and get specific with those things. That's how you break through that gray area of a team project, Sarah. I wish you the best of luck on that. That's a tough, tough situation to be in, but I think with those two things, you'll be able to move it forward. Thanks so much.